It's a Friday and that can only mean one thing. Rhythm of Life has landed to serve you good Christian books and music. So prepare your spirits to be elevated to the heavens. I'm your host, Smusom Tia, and thank you so much for joining us. And this week, we have Stanley Maposa. He has written and published a book called Leadership in Principle and in Practice. We'll talk to him a little later on. Remember, you can also interact with us on our social media using the hashtag Rhythm of Life on SID, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We not only have that, but we also have the music quiz, music video, and also social social media video of the week. So look out for that coming up later on. Stay connected with us. Right now, it's time for us to meet our lovely author, Stanley Maposa. Come through, sir. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Good, you may have a seat. Now let's start here. You've brought blended edition to actually come sing what you share um, about your book. Um, why them? Blended Edition is a group of young people and uh, it's part of the succession planning in leadership. Mm -hmm. Secondly, their name Blended yes. talks to collaboration, which is a critical issue in leadership. And finally, their music aligns very much with what we're going to speak today. Right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Blended Edition as they sing a song called Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Do you enjoy and be blessed. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face, and the things of this earth will grow strange. That's a beautiful song, guys. Hey, Mole, did you hear the vibe at the end there? <laughs> Wish I can try it out, but I can't. But one thing I can do is to ask you this question. You started with the song, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus, right? Today we're talking about leadership in practice and in principle. Now, do I want to know from your side, why is it important for leaders to actually look up to Jesus for, um, for ideas and solutions in the church and anywhere else? Wow, okay, that's a very good question. Yep. Uh, I'll try my best. But what I can say is that, you know, as a leader, um, you need to be responsible for a lot of people. Yep. You're directing a lot of people. So uh, from me, I think that as a leader, you need to have one source yep. of inspiration, one source where you draw all your power from. Yep. And who better than Jesus? Because as it says in his word that, we draw everything from him. He's yeah. the one who gives us strength. Mm -hmm. And even in, in the Bible, you know, we draw inspiration when it says that, you know, all the leaders that were even chosen were people who were listening and talking, having a relationship with God. So I guess we started with this song because as, as the, the book of the day says leadership, you know, it's very important to have a good source where you draw everything from. Then you can lead the people around you even yourself, yeah. from a good example. Oh, excellent. Pass them too. <laughs> right. 
We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we speak to Stanley Mapos about his book called Leadership in Practice and in Principle. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back straight after this. This is Rhythm of Life. Welcome back from the break. This is Rhythm of Life. Today we are joined by Blended Edition. They are giving us awesome music. And on the other side, we are sitting to, uh, with a gentleman who does almost everything. He does businesses, he does radio, he does a whole lot of things. And we, he spoke to us earlier on about the stuff that he does and how he got into leadership and why he's putting that into practice with his book. Interact with us on our social media, hashtag Rhythm of Life on SID or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right. We need to continue with our conversation. Thank you. Yes. Who is Stanley Maposa? Stanley Maposa is a son, is a husband, is a teacher, former teacher, is a science diplomat, is an author of books. Mm -hmm. I also work with a group of churches that is called ABC and I'm the president. Okay. I am also a business person. I have got a company that's called SDR Consulting. Yeah. I do consulting. Excellent. Yes. I suppose that's the reason why you wrote the book Leadership in Principle and in Practice because obviously when you have a business, you're a leader. Definitely. Right. Definitely. And what experience were you going through when you wrote this book? Well, my experiences are quite vast because yeah. I trace them back to the time I was 13 years old. Right. And I participated in the liberation struggle mm -hmm. as a young person. All and right. at that moment, I just joined there and they made me a commander. Right of a battalion and uh, next time a commander of a brigade, mm -hmm. a, a commissar, yeah. th that's what they call it. Mm -hmm. So I was young and um, I, I, I didn't know anything. And yeah. therefore, maybe they were just looking at the appearance, yes. you know, that which people say, the Bible says people look at the outside, but God looks in the inside. In the inside of and course. I was that just drawn into the deep into that. And when the war was over, yeah. I became a Christian. Okay. I, I converted to be a Christian, and mm -hmm. I also was given a role at 22 years old mm -hmm. to be a, to be a leader in the yes. church, taking care of rural churches. Okay. And uh, I was also thrown into the deep because at that time I was teaching, and those experiences taught me a number of things in the sense that uh, I had no mentor, I had no coach, and. In the process, I did make a lot of mistakes, mistakes. Yeah. which then when I sat down later, some years later, I said, let's correct these things yeah. and put them in a book so that so somebody else who, who gets into the journey of leadership yes. may be able to read and see some practical things, Very some true. principles that we need in the leadership space. Right. Yeah. All right. I see you've got a book here that has notes. I've got, I've got some notes. I yes. know that leaders yeah. always trouble with <laughs> notepads <laughs> to refer to. Do you mind taking off your book so that you can answer my next question? <laughs> now, now how, do you, how, do, how do we marry the two, God and leadership? God is a, an ultimate leader right. because uh, before anything was, he led the creation right. of, 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 of the earth and he continues to lead us. Yeah. And therefore, those that want to become leaders must attach themselves to him so that they can get the wisdom, the knowledge, the patience, the humility that comes from God. Right. Because on our own, we are limited human beings and therefore we need God's wisdom. Solomon of old, yes. uh, when he became a leader, he, God asked him a question and says, mm -hmm. what do you want? Mm -hmm. Gives him a blank check. What do you want? True. And I think if the, it was any one of us, we're going to say, give me a car, give me a house, give Very me all true. these things. Yeah. But he says, give me wisdom yes. so that I will lead these people that you are giving me to be in charge of. Right. And therefore, as you are saying, God is the source of wisdom. Right. And therefore, every leader that was to lead appropriately yeah. must connect to God. Right. Yeah. But obviously, there are seasons for a leader. Sometimes yeah. it's good sometimes it's bad sometimes you cry sometimes you laugh sometimes you are happy that's why it is a rhythm of life yes then if you you meet such challenges how should you um, um deal with them the the, 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 the the critical part is that number one you need to continue to trust in god as a leader as i've said secondly mm. to read yeah. I always say leaders are readers. Good point. And yes. readers are leaders. Yes. And I've always said if you are a leader mm. and your entertainment space 
is bigger than your library, then you have a problem. Okay. All right. So we need to see more books, mm. uh, whether they are hard or they are soft, but you need to have books so that you read and learn from others. Right. But you need to attend church conferences. Mm. You need to attend leadership conferences. Yes. You need to rub shoulders with others because yes. iron sharpens iron. Hey. And the, if, on, if you are on your own and you are an isolated leader, then you, you kill yourself and right. you kill the people that follow you. Right. No man is an island. Yes. Right. You are very correct. So Blended Edition is ready to give us a song called Seasons. Because as leaders, we go through ups and downs. Definitely. So it's never easy for us. We go through difficult situations and problems and all of that stuff. Right. Here's Blended Edition as they perform a song called Seasons. Do we enjoy? Seasons come and go, but Jehovah's Word will stand for all eternity for you and I to see. Oh, yes. Don't you worry when the storm clouds gather. Don't you worry. Don't you worry when the rain comes. Stand on His Word. His love is true. Ah, Blended Edition, that was a wonderful song. Right, today we are speaking about leadership, and I know that Barnabas is willing to take this one, correct? Yeah. I don't know, ladies, don't you want to talk to me? But it's fine, we'll leave it to Barnabas. So we are talking about leadership today. I want to understand, um, maybe give us your advice, to a person that is going through leadership at the moment and is having difficulties understanding what is actually going on, whether at work and also in church, what would you say? Right, so well, one thing I've noticed about leaders is that they're afraid to ask for help. Okay. One thing we need to understand is that no man is an island. So, you know, if you find yourself not being able to, you know, get the solution, um, ask, yeah. ask. And also, if you st ask and you still don't get the solution, pray to God. He'll provide someone. Right. Know, he'll provide somebody. Uh, you, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Right. Yeah. Would yeah. you guys like to add on that? Well, we could say every, everything that he said yeah. was right, as right. you know. <laughs> yeah, but, but a, a, as a leader, yeah. uh, leaders, as he was saying, leaders want to shine as if they're the only ones, you know, who okay. would have uh, a solution to the mm. problem. They're, that's not wise in any way. Right. Even all the greats in the Bible, at some point, they had to seek for either right. divine uh, help or from their peers. Yeah. Yeah, and I think... Correct. That, yes. Well done, guys. Actually, you must lead by example, right? Yes, we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, Blended Edition is here to continue with the music. Stanley Maposa tells us more about his book. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.
We are back from the break like we've never left. Joining me still is Stanley Maposa. And on the other side is Blended Edition. They are giving us music that are, is basically encouraging us and blessing us, right? So now before we can go to Blended Edition, let's get the, the fact that how has this book changed your life? The book has changed my life in the sense that uh, I have learned that uh, there are four dimensions of leadership. Yeah. The first one is called me leadership. Okay. Where you need to lead yourself, you need to understand yourself. And Paul writes a number of times to mm. Timothy and to Titus. Yeah. He says a leader must be temperate, he must be self-controlled. Mm. All those things, anger management, you must lead yourself first. Right. Before you go to the second level that I call leading others. Okay. or leading within your sphere of influence, which is the family in this sense. Yes. And there are a lot of issues that Paul talks about the family. He says, if a man can't lead his family well, yeah. he can't go to level number three of societal leadership, of church leadership. Right. So he talks also about your children being uh, uh, disciplined and what, what. So mm. if you can't lead yourself, number one, number two, if you can't lead your immediate uh, environment, which is your family, right including your wife and your children. You okay. can't go to level number three, according to Paul, which is yeah. leading the church and leading the society. Right. And that's where people jump yeah. the, the stages. So yeah. you must, first of all, know how to lead yourself, lead number two, and then you go to number three. And then the last one is called leading leaders. Leading so, leaders. Leading leaders. So okay. the, the ball game changes completely okay. when you lead other people who are leaders. How so? In the sense that um, leaders, when you lead leaders, yes. number one, you need to give them resources. Oh. You need to give them time. Okay. You need to give them space. Yeah. This issue of uh, micromanaging and micro-leading yes. yes. sometimes frustrates some leaders because okay. you bring in people that already know what okay. they are supposed to do, yeah. but you need to give them resources, time, space, yeah. and allow them to innovate, right. allow them to to do things according to how they think they can be done. Excellent. Lastly, you must give them feedback. Okay. And feedback uh, is a two-way process. Right. You must also learn how to receive feedback as right. a leader and how to give other people feedback. Right. And, uh, you, you know, when you read the book of Revelations yeah. in the seven churches, Jesus mm. gives an example of how to give feedback. feedback. He starts off by a good thing. He says, I know the things that you do. Yeah. And he gives the good picture of the church. And then lastly yeah. says, but I have this against you. Right. So that's a good structure of giving leadership. People just jump in. Yes. And give negative leader Excellent. feedback, yeah. which discourages people. So you. you need to know how to lead other leaders. And that's the final stage of, of leadership. So it's right. me, immediate, yeah. society, mm. and then leading leaders. Leader, leading, leading leaders. Leading leaders. I like that. Yeah. My last question is that, how did Jesus actually lead his disciples? What kind of, what kind of tactics did he use? The greatest uh, thing that I saw that Jesus did in leading yes. his disciples is what is called situational leadership. Okay. Situational leadership simply means you lead people differently according to who they are. Okay. It is not, it's, it's not that you are choosing this one or the other one, but you oh. know that this one needs more follow-up than the other one. Okay. And therefore, you spend more time following up this one mm. because this one knows how to do their things. Right. So there was a time when Jesus explained things yeah. to disciples when they were confused, mm. especially when parables were spoken. He would sit down yeah. and explain to them and accommodate right. even the doubting Thomas. Correct. And accommodate even the thief that was there yes. and accommodate the zealous that were there. Yeah. So each person was a unique person Individual. and he would lead them situationally according to their specific needs. Excellent. What he said to Peter, he didn't say to James. Right. So that's that what is excellent. called situational leadership. Right. Yes. Uh, but Maposa, I know for a fact that you love music and I've prepared a music video for you and it's by Shao Power. Okay. Right. So Shao Power is waiting for us on the other side. Here's their music video. Na 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 na, 
That was a powerful music video by Shower Power. You see what I did there? Yeah. Powerful and power. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. We continue with the conversation when we come back from the break um, regarding uh, Stanley Maposa's book called Leadership in Principle and in Practice. We'll see you after the break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is what? Rhythm of Life. Welcome back from the air break. This is Rhythm of Life. I'm sure you are enjoying the music and our conversation with our author, and his name is Stanley Maposa. Right, sir, you've, you've, you've said a mouthful on the first segment and the second segment. Now, I, it's, it's time for us to wrap up everything. Thank and you. how we wrap up things is, I need you to give us the lessons that we should get from the book. I mean, here's the book. I want to buy it, but before I can buy it, just give us a, some sort of a promotion as to okay. <laughs> what to look forward to and what we should learn there. Okay. What to look forward in the book is that mm. uh, is, we have got 12 chapters. Each chapter is a principle. Mm. And uh, we talk about what leadership is. Mm. And we also talk about what leadership is not. Okay. Because uh, there is so much of uh, what it is mm. and what it is not. not. And, and mm. what it is not really we cover, it's not about me. Mm. It's not about power. It's not about instructing others. Mm. It's not about demeaning others. It's not about taking all the credit. Yeah. And we then move it to say, how do you lead yourself? The right. self-leadership. Mm. And then we move it to, to give an example right. in the Bible of mentorship yeah. and uh, the seriousness of mentorship in terms of the relationship between Elijah, Elisha, Paul, Silas, all true, that. True. But we need to have someone who identifies you as a leader and grooms you. In my mm. language, there's a saying that says, uh, which means yeah. uh, if you want a bull, you choose it among the calves. Yes. And therefore you look at them, how they behave, and then you say, that one should be Definitely. a bull. And somebody must say that to you and groom you and lift you up mm. and make you a leader. If you don't have such a person, you can be a leader still, yeah. but you will make a lot of mistakes. Oh, yes, yeah. indeed. Now, I asked the group earlier about um, an advice to a person that is going through difficulties as far as leadership is concerned. Because like you said, you, you do business and leading people is not very easy. Yep. What would be your advice to a person that is going through difficulties at this point in time in leadership? Be it church, be it business, yes. The, the critical part is to connect to other leaders yep. and really find someone, as I'm saying, to mentor you, to coach you, mm. uh, but also create a culture of being teachable yes. and learn and depend, if you are a Christian, depend upon God yes. and trust him that he's going to lift you up and take you to another position. Yeah. But critically, you need to find collaborators, yes. uh, people that are going to work with you and lift up the work with you. Yeah. Uh, these two things that I really say is called humility. Mm -hmm. Be humble to say, I don't know everything. Yeah. The second one is called empathy. Yes. Put yourself in the shoes of others mm -hmm. and say, uh, they can also bring something into the table Great. and make you a better person. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to reading that book. Thank you very much for giving, the, uh, giving us the insight about the book. We are very interested, very much so. I'm going to definitely read it Thank based you on the much. couple of points that you've given us. Right, when we come back, we're going to play a game. Are you ready? I'm ready. I know for that game. you're a music yes, lover. I'm, I'm ready. I hope yeah. you're going to win. I should win. I, I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Blended Edition is ready to give us another item. Tetilis 
Right, thank you very much for that powerful performance, Planet Edition. It's time for us to take a break. When we come back, we get to play the game called the Music Quiz. Keep interacting with us on our social media. Hashtag Rhythm of Life on SID. We'll see you straight after this. We are definitely learning a lot as far as leadership is concerned. I do not know about the Elijah and the Elisha leadership, which is something that I'm willing to put into practice. Right now, Blended Edition is ready to give us the next song. Do enjoy and be blessed. Thank you very much, Blended Edition. That was a powerful song. But right about now, it's time for us to actually loosen up and play a game. Forget about the book, forget about the performances, and focus on music quiz, right? I've got uh, Stanley Maposa and Josh. Are you guys ready to play a game with us? Very ready. So Thank you guys you. seem relaxed, which oh. is great. Yeah. That's plus one. <laughs> Point already. <laughs> Just for being relaxed. I'm joking, guys. So now, when you know um, the answer, please shout your name. Okay. okay perfect, right? Perfect. So if you know your answer, if you know the answer, Josh. Okay. If you know the answer, Stanley. Stanley. Okay. Don't shout the answer. Ne? Because that's incorrect. Okay. And that doesn't mean you get the point. Okay. We just move on, right? If you don't know the question or you don't know the answer, I mean, if you don't know the answer, just move on. Okay. Right? 
Are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, don't forget to use your mic. Perfect. Are we all good? Yeah, bro. Yes. Shake We're it good. off, guys. Yes. Ready? Okay. Kum, first question. What is Sweet Symphony's second album? Josh. Josh. Dreaming of a City. Dreaming of a City, that's correct. I'm staying in common. <laughs> Number two, true or false? God's Grace Ministries has been nominated for Best A Cappella. Josh. Josh. True. True. That's correct. Oh, dear, yes. <laughs> Come on, my elder. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Do, you, do you need me to assist you? Yes. Okay, it's, cool. It's some places, I'll give you a clue. Yeah. Right. Number three, true or false? One of the guys on Purified Group sang for Just Six. Stanley. Yes. Oh, it was Stanley. Yeah. Yes. True, right? True. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Bob Stanley. <laughs> Finally. That's the point. <laughs> right. <laughs> Two, one. For who started the group, Emmanuel Ministry Group? It was started in 94 by two guys. One is still there, one passed away. You can mention either one. Uh, I'll be allowed to give AKAs. Aibo, yeah. you start with your, 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 your name. name. <laughs> oh, Josh, Josh. Josh, yeah. Yeah, I Josh. Said, is a man. yeah. Josh. Yeah, Josh. I'll be allowed to give AKAs, yeah. Uh, what's the AKA? Yeah, like a middle name, yeah. No. A street also name. Also known as. Name, okay. Name, guys. No. Name? No one. Pass. Pass. Sure, okay. Pass. Go for it. Um, Spell Radiance Acapella. Josh. Stanley. Uh, Josh went on All first. Right. Uh, R A yeah. D I A N C E. Yeah. A cappella A C A double P E double L A. Perfect. Radiance A cappella. Thank you. Excellent. Right. Yeah. How many members are in the group called Noted? Stanley. Stanley? Ten. Ah, uh, that's incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, just laugh a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah come on, dude. Like, give yeah. us an answer already. All right, uh, six. <laughs> Definitely I'm correct. I'm almost done. <laughs> Definitely correct. All right, second last question. Ole Tindlovu sings which part um, on Crystal Light? Stanley. Stanley? Yes. Soprano. Correct. That's correct. That's three, two. Okay, guys. Stanley, make sure that at least you draw. Like yeah. Three, three, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's four, two. Sorry, they correct me. It's actually four, two. Okay. Sorry, guys. Unfortunately. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to ask this question. Give us the names of the Ngobo girls. You can name the three of them, two of them, or just one. Josh. Josh. All right. So I'm going to give it a shot here. I know there's a Lindy way somewhere. Uh, yeah, but then, but then say it right. Say it right. Come on. Um, uh, Lindy way Ngobo. Yeah, at least it's at Lindy Lengo. Oh, at least, man. Close. At least, at least. <laughs> but, why remember, mark, at but, least. Then, but why do you remember her? Out of all the two sisters. Uh, when we sorry, don't answer, my guy. I'm <laughs> joking. Okay. So the score is basically 5-2, right? <laughs> well done. Well done to George. Well done to Planet Edition. They're supposed to be picking up for you. Hey, right? So right now, guys, it's time for us to actually check out a social media video of the week, right? As you all know that we need to laugh a little bit on this show. Not be serious and follow that, right? And here's social media video of the week. Is not an easy road. It's not, it's not an easy road. We are traveling to heaven, though many other thoughts on the way. It's not. 
It's been awesome to praise and worship with you. Blessings and gratitude to all our guests for sharing their talent with us and for coming through today. Blessings to you at home for allowing us to keep you company. Let's do it again, same time, same place next week. Make sure that you interact with us on our social media using hashtag Rhythm of Life on SID or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right now, it's time for me to leave you, but here's Blended Edition to close off the show for us. Goodbye, everyone, until next time.
was his given, Jesus Christ, his Son. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what? The Lord has done for us, and now let the sick say, I am whole, let the bound say, I am free, because of what the Lord has done. Say I am whole, let the bound say I am free, because of 